Alright, sorry guys, I am putting on the headset now, if anyone was too- But, I finally bought what is arguably one of the best VR experiences I've heard. I have this game before, because I already had uh, the Vita version. Uh, which, I mean, it's the same thing, it's just the Vita version is the handheld version. And I already had Wipeout HD for the PS3. And when the VR update came out, I was like, you know what, fuck it, I'm buying this game now. This game deserves my attention. What's up? And it was definitely worth it. It was on sale, and you can't find it on Amazon anymore. Scalpers got to it. I don't know if it's like a limited print or something, but I bought it new for half price. Or lower than half price. <laughs> Uh, and it came with the pre-order stuff, so I lucked out. That, and I pre-ordered Spyro, because, I mean, Spyro is just fucking awesome, dude. I was gonna pre-order Onrush, but they couldn't even figure that out. <laughs> okay, so, which one, which one? Uh, I'm currently doing this one in, uh, the Vita version. So it's cool, I got this game on the go. This, cra uh, this track may cause some users to experience motion sickness. The headset and pilot assistant have been enabled by default. They can be disabled in the in-game options menu. Hello? I accept. Okay, hold on. Uh, let me do the options first. Game, uh, VR, uh, okay, uh, internal, okay, um, pilot assist, screw that shit, damn it, okay, nope, alright, let's do this, yeah, wait, no, hold on, again, <laughs> Options, controls, player one. Um, pitch and steering. I'll leave it at that. Because I don't want it to be too sensitive. But if it gets messed up, I, I hope I can just pause it in the middle of the game. Okay. So, let's see. Ah, oh, cool, the six-axis works here, still. Not the best, but on the PS3 version. Yeah! I'm familiar with these ships. Uh, I'm guessing X is to go. I know on the Vita version, I have it the R2, because X probably is miserable on mine. Okay, I don't know what's... There we go. Wow, this looks so fucking amazing. Holy cow. <laughs> Oop. I might just not do six axis. <laughs> I might just do the analog stick uh, for steering. Yeah. Hold on. Uh, game options. Off. There we go. Cool, you can actually uh, do this stuff in the game. There we go, that's better. Okay. That's way better. Oh crap. Wow, this is so amazing. This is like... <laughs> and there's like no jaggies whatsoever. So it's even better. I can't wait to unlock more of the Fizar ships. Get out. Shit. Okay. Wow, this is actually not that bad at all. 
I don't regret buying this. I didn't think I would because everyone said this is like the most amazing thing, most amazeballs thing. There is actually a game called Super Amazeballs, and it's only five bucks, and I want to get it because it's actually really fun. And it's only five bucks, which is amazing. Like, usually the five dollar VR games are usually like... Meh. But there are, there's another one that's also good, but they're usually just like uh, mobile VR games, so they're not like that in depth like uh, VR frog you just look and it goes automatically but you know although I would get that for uh, like kids or something okay I'm not getting sick surprisingly I don't know why but since uh, I've I did that friggin scavengers odyssey I'm like really messed up from from uh, Scavengers Odyssey. Just like, oh, like even when I'm driving in real life, I just feel so messed up. Yeah, this works very well. This is just amazing. Uh, this game, the, the only issue with it is that if you leave the, uh, what's it called, on, um, the, uh, the super sampling on, uh, the, the VR won't work. Because it already automatically super samples. So it's like at 1600p, but it's downscaled to 1080p, and that's why it's so crystal clear and sharp. Uh, on the standard PS4, it's like, uh, 1440 or something like that, but it's, that's still, like, amazing. Alright, I did better than the Vita version, and I think it's because the Vita is kind of, like, strange to play with. Your GTA 5 roleplay videos. Hell yeah, it's gonna be worth it. Ah, screw it. Um, speaking of, uh, Emma, you should get, we should get, uh, GTA 5. Oh, hell yeah. Now I got the fighter, which I love this thing. Um,. Yeah, we should get GTA 5, and we should do heists, and you should title the videos Emma Gonna Heist. I think they changed the ships how they are. Uh, because I don't recall them being disconnected like that. Like, I thought they had full-on cockpits attached. So here's the deal. What's the, what's the deal, yo? You have it? Oh, cool. Well, one of these days I will get it, and we will have to heist and shit. Or is it on PS3? Ah, uh, install. Five R speed. Aw, oh, damn it. Because, yeah. Well, then again, she probably. Yeah, it's like 30 bucks now or something. It's like half price. Or it's like 20. Something like that. I'll, I'll see uh, if it's worth it. Uh, like, you know. Yeah, it's a weird game. But we will, we will have to play it. We'll have to do heists. Because I watch people do heists on YouTube. It's actually really hilarious. Okay, so that's backwards. How do I shoot? Nope, that's air brake. Uh, I'm guessing square. Yeah, that's how it was on the Vita version was square. Okay, there we go. Yeah! Yeah, they must have some BS lockout thing or something. Who knows? Yeah, we'll have to do the heist, and we'll have to just sit there and because it's the comedic possibilities are endless. 
I've been trying to get my friends to get that game, and they, they already have, like, the PS3 version. One of my friends got the Xbox One version because he thought he'd be playing with Vanoss Gaming. It's like, yeah, fucking right. Good luck with that. You just fucking wasted another 60 bucks on something that no one's gonna play you with because no one I know has an Xbox. But we'll have to, uh, definitely. That's one of the online games. And then one of these days I will, uh... Yeah, that's shitty. I'd be pissed because it's not... Because if it was cheap, it would be okay, but if it, since it still, like, has the same value, but I see it for, like, cheaper now, like, it's price is going down. Yeah. A lot of childhood games of mine, I definitely have to rebuy. I have to rebuy fucking Spyro, and that's, like, 50 bucks, dude, online. I might have to buy it uh, without the case and just hope for the best and then order like a custom case or something because I know a person that does it for like four bucks and they make like these awesome custom cases. Because I need Spyro 1 and 2 again. Badly. And I got crashed like right before its uh, value like skyrocketed. Race complete. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, there's not. It's not gonna be as eventful full till later on. It's gonna get hardcore. But you know. Um. Yeah. What is happening? <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> I just, oh yeah, I was telling you that I got this game last night. Uh, let's do another race. Yeah, they changed the cockpits how they are uh, for the VR version. And if you're wondering who that is, uh, he does Skyrim VR streams and does VR streams also. I was watching his at the same time as yours, Emma. Like, I had them both going on. Yeah, that's what my dad used to do. Uh, he used to be a tr uh, dump truck driver for, like, years. Like, as long as I can remember. He had, like, the same dump truck for so long. I think it wasn't even... A dump truck, you know, like, a truck that carries, uh, like, rocks and stuff. You know, dump truck. Oh, wait, ah, oh, crap, the pitch. Oh, no. Is the pitch still six axis? Hold on. Uh, oh, okay, confirm. Okay, there we go, that's better. That's, uh, things may have been off. <laughs> well, I don't know. If you don't know, now nah, you know. And here we go. I played... Yeah. Because my dad, he used to uh, do things like that. Like, he used to work in different quarries and stuff like that. Sand pits. He's just kind of like a drifter of sand pits. And it was, uh, you know. And it was fun. You'd take me to work, and we would just have a blast. And we'd eat Jolly Ranchers, because he really liked Jolly Ranchers. He really liked the hard candies for some reason. Even though he'd bite onto them, but he had bad teeth. Uh, teeth. Oh, look at that. You can see the heat blasting on the screen. That's awesome. That's a kick-ass touch. Rockets. Now I'm hoping that they do a Resistance Fall of Man remaster. Yeah, he pretty much was. Like, I just remember him not being in the same place 
all the time. Like, he was just in different ones. He had an old beat-up dump truck. Like, it was like an ancient international... Uh, I forgot what it was called, but, I mean, he had it forever. That thing wasn't even street legal by the end. That's what it pretty much was. It's a, it's a semi-truck with a dump back on it, and, I mean... That thing was cool. It was so dirty inside, though. It was so dusty and gross. And <laughs> at the end, uh, you did not want to drop. Uh, you know, you couldn't even see the speed dials. It was so dusty. Like anyone with dust allergies would consider it hell. There we go. Got him. All right, I have to really do this. But it was cool. He was. He. Uh, he loved it. Yeah, that is, uh, to be honest. Uh, my other, my, uh, see, my uncle was a semi-truck tr semi driver. I, uh, rode, I can't even talk right now, rode in it, and he, uh, that was not a job for me. I can barely park a car. I could not park a friggin' truck like that. That is way too much, uh, for me. I played, uh, you know, Euro Truck Simulator, but not, uh, that. Yeah, they do. They last forever. But I mean, his was, like, in shambles. <laughs> like, so ancient and old. Like, I think it was, like, from, like, the 80s, like, late 80s or something. Oh, damn it. Alright, I have to do that race again. Trying to get uh, good weapons is a bit of a pain in the ass. Race again. I'm not feeling motion sick now, though. Because when I told the GameStop guy about it, uh, he's just like, <laughs> that, that must be sickening. And uh, no, it's not actually. Uh, <laughs> They, they have oh, comfort options. No, I mean, I would play it. I've never played it before. I like those kind of simulation games, though. Like Farm Sim. I gotta get one for PS4. I'd love to get one. Uh, if they announce, like, the next one, I might pre-order that. And just go from there. Oh, yeah. I am loving it. I mean, I have this on the Vita, and that's why I didn't buy this game initially, but then when they announced the Wipeout VR patch, I was just like, oh man, I gotta get that. I gotta get my hands on that. And then all of a sudden, it just kind of came out because I didn't really follow the hype too much. I did hear that it was coming out soon, and then just one day, it just plopped down, and I was just like, oh, okay. <laughs> uh, now I gotta get the game. And then uh, I had a hard time finding it, and I didn't have PlayStation Plus, and uh, it was all sold out in the U.S. stores. And like Amazon uh, scalpers were starting to sell it for higher prices, even without the case. It was like 48 bucks, and I'm like, screw that! I'm not paying over retail price. And they, uh, yeah. I missed it. So then I was just like, okay, I'm good. Now, uh, I saw it in GameStop, and the guy's just like, yeah, I just literally put that on the shelf. But I was talking to him, and I told him about how uh, Sony XDev said that they would uh, bring more PS3 games. Uh, to VR, they would love to, because it's just easy, because it's made for a less powerful system, and they can just, like, make it more pretty and stuff. That's why this one looks so nice. Because they didn't have to make much, uh, compromises. And so, uh, I said Resistance Fall of Man VR, and they're just like, yeah, that sounds pretty cool. 
And then I'm just like with the uh, aim controller, and they're like, yeah, the aim, I mean, that'd be pretty cool. And then the cashier's like, wait, you mean with a gun up there? And he points to aim control, I'm like, hell yeah, I have resistance with that, and he's just like, dude, that would be awesome. <laughs> I think that would be amazing. Like, I mean, I don't really buy remasters if they're from last gen, unless if I don't have them, or if it's just cheaper to get that than all the DLC. Like, Burnout Paradise Remastered, it's probably cheaper to buy that than buy all the DLC for the PS3 version, plus that, because it comes with all the DLC immediately. So I'm just like, yeah, I'm gonna get that instead. <laughs> or I'm just gonna, yeah, get that one. In. And it's also like 30 bucks already. Missile. Oh yeah, that's, some people said that too. They're just like, Bioshock VR would be sick. EV pass, first place. There we go, I fixed my mistake. I already unlocked something. Oh. Now what I would like to get is, uh, I would love to see a Twisted Metal. Yeah, exactly, that's why I didn't bother, uh, buying this game initially because I already have it for the Vita and I already have Wipeout HD Fury for the PS3 so I mean you know it didn't really add too much. I was going to buy it eventually but just not uh, not right off so um, I would love to see like a Twisted Metal game in VR do like a remake of Twisted Metal 1 and 2, cobble it together, and then just throw in a VR mode. Because the first Twisted Metal has a first person view, and that'd be sick. Because those are definitely games. Oh yeah, definitely. I uh, like they if they did like a kill zone 2 and 3. I mean, I. I'm not really much of an FPS person like that, like I don't play Call of Duty and stuff, but if they had like aim support and VR, I would definitely play them. Like I never would have uh, played um, uh, Honor and Duty had I not had the, uh, had it not had VR. Oh, I'm, I'm Team Pfizer all the way, man. <laughs> You can tell me what to to use, but I'm Team Pfizer all the way. Final lap. I gotta get the uh, a T-shirt like that, but it's hard because uh, Wipeout uh, isn't as mainstream in the U.S., so there's not really any merch for it. Whereas. Uh, in the UK and like all over Europe you can get it oh yeah um let me see what would be a good scary oh shit I saw did that uh what would be a good scary game for PlayStation VR it's hard cause a lot of scary games I know are third person like Resident Evil 4, I don't know how well that would work for VR, because uh, part of that game's like charm is like how slow sometimes he moves, uh, Leon, and all that. Pass. Yeah, I did. I the uh, this week for streaming, I had a schedule set, but then and I was gonna order this game online, but it was unavailable online. So I was just like, uh, oh man, uh, hold on, what was my target and how well did I do? Um, oops, 
Uh, yeah, that wasn't a very good one. But I'll come back to that once I get the uh, the prototype. Oh yeah. Now I can play my, the Amnesia Collection. I also have Riggs VR. Uh, it was a free uh, PlayStation Plus game. I have a few of them now. Um, yes, definitely. I would love to play some more Little Fire Big Rose Planet. Team. Getting this game really messed it up because I was just like, all right, Thursday or today I was gonna ask if you wanted to but tomorrow I don't have to work at all so I might do that I was gonna reserve Skyrim VR for Thursday but uh, I think that'd be better because I don't have to work at all on Thursday so I think Thursday would be good for little big planet 3 oh yeah one of these days fancy will be streaming Euro truck and he'll be like biggest Euro truck streamer ever. Oh man. This is intense. I do have to get dirt rally. Oh yeah. Damn it. Ah oh, man, I didn't wait to get it on there. Yeah. Oh, the internet connectivity is not efficient, blah blah blah. I hate that. Get out of my face. There we go. This is really fun. I like it. Um, I didn't really grow up with Wipeout, so I'm not the best. I did play Roll Cage, though. I'd love to see Roll Cage VR, by the way. I think VR, the VR headset's doing really well. Yeah. That's what I say. I would like to get a computer for editing and getting a uh, capture card so I could stream like PS1 or stream from my PS1, PS3, and uh, like PS TV and my future PSP. Just do all PlayStation stuff because it's fun. Because I don't need like a powerful gaming PC or anything like that. I mean, everything eventually gets ported to PS4 anyway, or console, so why not? Especially PlayStation, or VR games, like all the good ones come to PS uh, PSVR. Wow, there we go, one. <laughs> A little bit close that time. Elite Pass, first place. Like, for the PS4 Pro and the PSVR all together only cost me like 600 bucks. It's good enough. The only thing they really need to do is make a uh, new... Yeah, the VR mode is coming out, and that game is pretty cheap online, so I might have to pick that one up too. Uh, the VR looks fun in that. Um... Let's see... Kind of just avoiding the time trials a little bit, just because I'm not as good at them. Like once I get the uh, the Pfizer prototype model, it will be good. I use my phone. I just kind of make silly testing videos with it, where I sit there and be like, hoo -hoo, "Look at me testing these games," and swear a lot and just be really silly. But I'm gonna do that again sometime, because I really like it. I'm gonna swear less next time, because there's so many swears, and I didn't like that. But it's because it's like a three minute video, but it took like a half an hour to shoot. Because I had to get everything out, so I just, you know, didn't think I was swearing that much. Um, I would like to 
Hopefully the PS5 will have like a full editing software, like it has like Sony Vegas baked in. You know. Cause I mean, uh, Share Factory is almost there. The PS3 had iCreate, which you could uh, like make videos of yourself talking and stuff. So I mean, the next logical step would be like pull on Sony Vegas and make videos on it. Yeah, that's what I was gonna try to do. It's just that, uh, like, I s still, for some reason, I still feel the effects of, uh, what's it called, uh, of, uh, <laughs> Scavenger's Odyssey. That one really messed me up. Like, I had to quit. I didn't even beat it. I'm just like, sorry guys, I gotta stop streaming. And I took the headset off, and I was just, like, dripping with sweat. And I was just like, ah! <laughs> damn it, that was close. Because I would love to stream some uh, Descent. That would be another amazing uh, PSVR remake, because Descent is like one of my favorite. Uh, Uh, I haven't. I'm gonna try it though after this. Or wait, maybe I can try it now. Uh, game options. T -t 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 lock to pilot. Okay. Okay, there we go. Let's try it. Plasma. Yeah, I kind of like this a little better. Nice! How is that? When are you going to stream The Sims again? <laughs> By the way, Emma. I want to know what happens to me and my clone. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. Hold on, let me take a look at this comment. You're gonna name it and make it your boyfriend. I thought you already had a boyfriend. <laughs> Oops! Oh, son of a bitch. I'm just messing with ya. <laughs> I just wanted to see you react. You son of a bitch. The hard drive and the RAM. I think she already did that stuff before. Uh, she she did order parts for it earlier. You son of a bitch. Yeah, I got the PS4 Pro, so I mean, I basically... It's, it's a compromise of PC. Plus, you don't have Wipeout VR on uh, PC. But yeah, it will be more, like, stable, and it will run way better than the dinosaur that's in it. Eventually. Ugh, get tired of... Speaking of PS5, I get tired of all the speculation articles. 
and everyone believes it is real, but at the end it always says this is just speculation on, like, legit... Oh. <laughs> on the legit, um... Uh... Journalists, websites, they, they say it's speculation, and then, like, the, all the clickbaity ones that you get attacked with ads. And it crashes your friggin' Google Chrome. Uh, so, you know. It's like, whatever. The, the PS4 is still uh, topping the sales charts, so... I don't think they're gonna abandon it anytime soon. I don't even think they'll make a new VR model until a couple years after the PS5 launches. Because... Uh, oh man, I'm doing even worse. I might just skip it. Ah! No! 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 You son of a bitch! That was close. Alright, well, I'll come back to this one later. I mean, I had all these on gold when I, uh, when I was playing this. On oh, my Vita. What's this one? I don't know what that means. I probably... Oh, I have to use this one. What the heck? No Fizar? I think I unlock it, though, if I beat it, because I know, um... With the uh, Pfizer one for the prototype, it's like up at the top. Let's do this. They didn't even have cockpit mode for this game before. Uh... Leech Beam! Mines! Mines! Mines. Ah. Oh my god, what a clusterfuck! I mean, you can buy things... ...of machines. I mean, you can give it, like, a, uh, a voice AI, give it a personality. You don't know. It is. I love it. It, it looks just, it looks spot on from the non-VR version. There's, like, no compromises whatsoever. Or at least none visibly. If you watch the Digital Foundry video, they even say that. Yeah, I know. I might do that soon. I just wanted to make sure that this game wasn't going to kill me. Because I do have to work today, and I don't want to be all motion-sicky and, like, sweaty and gross for work. Son of a bitch! Oops, I should have used the leech beam on them. Oh my goodness! I'm almost dead, I wasn't even paying attention. Uh, okay. Shit. I think the leech beam, yeah, that heals me, so we good. Alright, I'm okay now. Oh, shit. Okay. That's my ex's name. <laughs> no! First place. Son of a bitch. 
bitch. It sounds like a reasonable name. I don't even have the uh, the speed class for that. Fire this is speed. really fun. I like this game. Uh, but yeah, I'll play a little Big Planet with the move again because that's just so fun playing with that. I wish that I had that game. I never had Little Big Planet two uh, growing up. Or at least, you know, when it was relevant, I should say. And I just messed up. I still have a lot to learn. <laughs> I'm not perfect. Um, I'm gonna see if I can pre-order Blood and Truth. Also, because I loved the hun London Heist. I got to finally do that yesterday, and man, it was so fun. Yeah. I have a little Big Planet 1 and 2 also, and I wanted to play that game with people, but I can never get any like until now, I I mean now I got PlayStation Plus again, and I mean I got cool peeps. Oh yeah, I mean I'm pretty interested after uh, London Heist. That was awesome. That was really fun. It was super short, but it was fantastic, and I loved it, and I was happy with it. Oh boy, gotta be careful because I'm like. Ah. Oh boy, what the hell was that? <laughs> okay, let's focus now. I just pass out and friggin' from just this intenseness. Oh my lord. Yeah. Um, I just thought it was, like, you know, it was just fantastic. Like, I was so intrigued with the story. And it was just fun. Oh, yeah, I got it when, uh, it was, the, I got the GT Sport bundle when it was, uh, Two hundred dollars that first time I got it for Christmas, and uh, shit, I ended up, um, you know, yeah, there wasn't really too much. It was just starting out, um, but the um, let's see, I already had the collector's edition of GT Sport, and I already had a camera. So I traded those in for uh, Skyrim VR because it was only 40 bucks. Then, like, it was on sale, and I traded it in, and like, I only had to pay like three bucks for it. Uh, GT Sport is fantastic. Uh, the VR is awesome. I kind of wish the whole game was in VR, but um, there would have been too much compromises, and it would have like looked. Uh, it would have lo looked worse than Drive Club VR. Um, they did demo it with uh, a lot of cars or whatever on a track, but uh, the resolution was really bad. That was a really bad race. Ah, I'm like doing so bad. <laughs> I I'm a noob at this. But it's not bad. Um, if you can get it, I would recommend it because now they've added way more cars. They've added new tracks. Uh, let's see. It came out with like 160. 
It was like 160 cars, and now they have like 220 cars, about. And they've all been free. There has been no paid DLC. Um, the time trial mode has added so much uh, to it. I hope they add drift trials. Um, and uh, like 1v1 online and it would uh, it would make it better I would think it'd make it perfect and I hope they add in uh, the weather cause, uh, for VR cause that was the thing lacking from Drive Club VR cause in regular Drive Club they had uh Holy shit! Oh my god! So many people. Yeah, uh, that's all I do before, like, even, like, back then. Like, when I was playing it, like, G Gran Turismo 3, I'd mostly do, uh, time trials. Once I got all the cars, anyway. And then, um... Like, in all the Gran Turismo, that's all I do is time trials. And then, um, this game, uh, with GT Sport, it's hard to play without VR now. <laughs> I've always wanted Gran Turismo in VR since I was a kid, and now I finally have it, and it's fantastic. And it was way better when they added the time trials, because now I always do that when I can. So much leech beams going on here. Yeah, that, that's what I did. I like played those and I used, um, oops, I accidentally used that. I can't do that. I mean, I beat the crap out of that, those games. Um,. But that PS3 is now retired. Uh, cause GT6's servers went out. And now I'm just like, you know. Oh yeah. <laughs> the only thing I would drink is Red Bull. I wasn't as sad for GT6's servers to go down than I was Gran Turismo 5, because that was like one of the last games I was nostalgic for. Because I mean, that was like, when that came out, I was still in high school. And then they went out in like 2014, and I was like two years out of high school, and just like, oh man. I also didn't have all the things I wanted in that game. Wow! 112! <laughs> oh yeah. I... love my Red Bull. I, uh, that's all I drink now. I used to drink like Mountain Dew all the time and eat candy and whatever, but... I had to stop because I just felt sick, you know. But I have to have a Red Bull every morning. I think it was also the caffeine was just giving me headaches all the time, and I just kind of felt sluggish and slow, so... I haven't really drank soda unless if I'm at a restaurant or something. Five-hour fire. And then I'm all set. I'm just like, yep, I'm... just gonna have some Mountain Dew. Yeah. I like all the flavors of Mountain Dew. The, the, um, like the only time I will buy a soda is if I uh, need to try a flavor. Like if a new flavor comes out, I'm like, ooh, I gotta try that. I'm a sucker for trying new flavors of things like that. Like I've been looking for Swedish Fish uh, Tropical flavor. Cause I saw it in a uh, on a coupon. I'm like, what the hell? Where the hell are these? I know there's Sour Patch Tropical, and those are amazing. 
And now I'm just like, ah! Oh my god, these are so intense. Oh yeah, he was about to... I was like, what the hell was he doing? But he was gonna shoot the shit out of me. Oh, cool, I hit him. Like, oh. And there we go, I'm dead. Chicken tenders eliminated. Oh, alright. Ah, shit. It's so unrelenting. Oh, oh man. Everyone's going out of control. Oh! Holy shit. I mean, this is gonna be easy anyway, because I just have to get 50 points and I already have most of it. Let's just try not to die, because I know. Oh man, I used the leech thing on myself. Ah. Oh. That's how you get everyone's attention. You mention chicken. And they're just like, yes, chicken. What about it? Fried chicken. My friend, fried chicken. Best way to have it. Oh, yeah. I got the gold. And oh, man. Yeah, I, <laughs> I don't know why, I just, I just had to, uh, I had to mention that. Oh man, oh god, here we go. Total non-stop wreckage. I can't even move. That's how it's gonna be in later races, you're just gonna get completely bombarded. Like, once this gets too hard, I'll switch over to HD, uh, and HD Fury. Oh my god, what is going on? Oh, wow. Okay, it ended. I was just like, why am I not being able to control myself? Well, with the tilt steering, you don't really need it anyway, because... Just use a stick. Yeah, they do. Uh, it's hard on the Vita because uh, trying to do anything with like analog sticks is kind of a pain in the ass. What's this? Oh, is this like a? I think this is a championship. So I gotta use the speed mod. Five dollar speed. Five dollar speed. Mm. I might have to... Alright, I gotta remember that. It keeps telling me that, so I should probably learn that. I don't know, I forget how to play these games sometimes. I play too many games all at once. is funky. I don't know if you can hear it. Cuz I one time I was like horribly singing along to the Fallout 4 music on the radio and like everyone's like what the fuck are you doing? And it turned out that they couldn't hear the music, only I could hear it. And so I'm just singing like a weirdo. Although that would be a great stream, just me singing it the whole time when no one can hear it. Oh my god. Oh my stars, it's a prison. 
Maybe on Friday I'll stream Skyrim VR. After work. I don't really like to play it after work because I'm using it. Yeah. It really uh, tracks in the new viewers, you know. I always do it on Battlefield. <laughs> When you're playing it, just start like singing weird stuff. Oops. I'm saving that missile. Yeah! There we go. Two for the price of one. Either this, or this is like an endurance quotation. Oh man, what the frig am I doing? Okay, I gotta start using the air brake more. You don't want to use it too much though because it slows you down. It's easier to use the handbrake, uh, the air brake on this, because on the Vita version, there's no buttons to really do that. They should have made the rear touchpad be able to do that. It sucks that the Wipeout 2048 isn't compatible with the PS TV. It doesn't even use any of the touch controls uh, other than the menu. They didn't even bother updating it, but I think it's because just because uh, the studio Liverpool went out of business. This is like technically their last game, which was the former Psygnosis. And I'm doing really bad now. I don't even know why. I guess I can try to wipe out. Uh, HD now. Since I never really got to play that one that much. God damn. I don't even know why. What time is it anyway? Ah, okay, I'm good with time. Ugh. Alright, well, later on I can play that. HD! I did play this on the PS3, but... Not on the Vita, I literally did only the first two events. Okay, so what do we got for, uh... These are... different. I can't really put my hand, or my finger on it. But these are not the same ships. I did unlock these, the Van Uber ships. Oh, wait, I think they're just modified for the VR version. Because I know that they have a much different front end, that's weird. That one's like the regular Wipeout, and that one's like the Wipeout Fury. Pfizer. Yeah, see, it's supposed to look like that one in the picture. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Um, GT Sport. Um, oh boy. Um, let me restart. <laughs> the VR got a little messed up. It's because I sat forward when it loaded fully to adjust myself. And then it just s set that as a default. Um, yeah, I don't know when I'm going to do GT Sport. Um, I don't know if I'll do it again this week. Uh, because there's not really anything new. But I might do it again this week. Uh, I know tomorrow it's going to be a little big planet 3. 
with Emma. And then Friday is going to be Skyrim VR. And then I normally don't stream on the weekends. It's just because I haven't really played Skyrim VR. And one of my friends wants to see me actually play it now. So, you know. I'm going to just test it out. Yeah. So I have to wake up at like 5 in the morning and go work till like the afternoon or whatever most of the time. But today I work at 3 so I'm definitely all set. That's what I like. I like variety. It, I mean there's nothing wrong with playing the same games too just because they uh, you know. But I like variety. Uh, the VR games definitely get more views for me than non-VR. This one looks more like the PS3 game. Because HD Fury, or yeah, HD Fury just looks more dirty and gritty. Whereas like Wipeout 2048 is like clean and nicer. That's what I like to do. That's why I want to get uh, PS1, PS2, PS3, and PSP and PS Vita streams going. Just so then I have that massive variety. Dedicate a day to each console or whatever. Like one day will be like PS1, you know, I could play like Crash 1 and get absolutely pissed off. And <laughs> so first crash game is such a pain in the ass because you have to use the d-pad and uh, the controls are so loose on it and then um like another day just play like wipeout fusion on the ps2 so i do have wipeout fusion it's fantastic Yeah, this one definitely plays way different than uh, 2048. Everyone recommends to start out with this one. I would like to see a totally new Wipeout game, though. Or at least one that just includes all the tracks from past games and stuff. And have, like, all the ships, so you have, like, a bunch of different colors. Gold medal awarded. Okay. Session complete. I I didn't even really try on that. Interesting. Like I just kind of drove and that was it. Oh yeah, this thing. I love this thing. I don't know what you get for all the loyalty stuff, but, you know. I'd love to play this online. Oh, yeah. That hurt. I, I friggin' clapped my fucking arm. Instead of my hand and slapped right on the veins on my wrist. Something. There's this one. This is weird. Or these ones where you use a weird ship and everything's all trippy colors. Yeah, see? It's like basically being on acid. I've never had acid. Can someone confirm if they've been on acid if this is an accurate representation of being on acid? Just see everything and trippy. Sub Regia. Right 
all these trippy colors and everything changes. Gold medal. Not at all. Okay. Well then, I'll stop. I'll of I don't want to offend the acid users out there. You know. Yeah, they have to be like all trippy. Like, the walls have to, like, breathe and say hi to you Breaking and out. freak you the hell out. Oh. Jesus. Oh, yeah, this just keeps going until you die. You don't even have to press X. You just keep going. Oh, shit. <laughs> Hello, I'm a wall. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. We smoke weed every day. That's what my brother does. I don't. I I would be broke if I did. <laughs> I don't have the money to do that. Like I just buy video games. That and I have like the occasional Mike's Hard Lemonade. I like the fruited drinks. All the Euro babes like the fruited drinks. Phantom. Yeah, I know. Uh. Zone 20. called uh yeah just enough so you can tell me all your secrets <laughs> I'm just messing with you um what's it called uh nothing being silly. Um, just being very silly. Oh, uh, damn it, I can't control it anymore. I mean, I already got gold like a million years ago. Yeah, there we go. But I mean, I got gold, so it doesn't even matter. I just wanted to see if I can get a high score. And then I blow up. Kagablam! Well, I mean, you should tell your boyfriend all your secrets. Woohoo! Um, what was I gonna say? Um... Oh, yeah. I bet that's, like, intense. Oh, that's a speed lap, okay. It was just a one lap thing. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, I totally forgot. Has to know on the Discord. We 
we don't even know her age. She is, uh... She is, like, locked tighter in a safe, and she has all of her secrets in it, and you can't really just blow it up. You can't really blow up that safe. Okay, here we go. Session. Then how does she have gold medal? How does that even work? It just depends on the person. What did we unlock? Warp. I wish like the the arms would wear a cold on. Let me restart. Oops. No, I'll end of the session and restart. <laughs> it's on all oh, this. Whatever. <sighs> oh. Yeah, that was a loud crack. Oh yeah. Gold medal awarded. Look at that gold medal. Session complete. And I didn't even pay attention again. I hope so. Uh doing my best. Yeah, see the, the music is really catchy in this game. The Tigron. Pfizer. I remember playing this. I also played this before a long time ago. Uh, I tried playing it with the Move Racing Wheel controller for the PS3, and my god, it is a pain in the ass. The problem with that thing is that it's, you know, like the steering is, uh, I think it's too sensitive, because some games it's too sensitive, like the earlier PS3 games, and then for later ones, some of them it's not sensitive enough like for Gran Turismo it's like very good accuracy but you have to like really move your arms around whereas with the, the six axis and the DualShock 4 for GT Sport it's like there's not as much effort needed because the move racing wheel is huge anyway Now I just have to get this bastard. Missile. 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 Oh wait. Oh, they had a missile. Leech beam. Leech beam. Oh wait, no, they're probably using it on me. The confusion is real. Heck. Whoa! That really does mess up. Oh yeah, definitely. Pick that up whenever you can. It is awesome. And then just get a bunch of vehicles 
Uh, that's what I did, and then I, well, I didn't have the VR yet when I first got it. Like, it was still, uh, about, like, a month away. And I just worked my ass off to get everything. Um... The only ones, there are a couple of cars that aren't compatible in VR, but uh, those are just ones without an interior, but it's only like a handful. Look at that, a completed uplift. I think this is when it starts to get a little harder. Like there's actual effort needed to be put in. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh that uh Gran Turismo Driving Force GT Logitech one, that one's a good wheel. It sucks that the PS4, they locked them all out, because that is a really good wheel, and I almost bought one a few years ago, and I really wish I did, because they still withhold their, uh, uh, their value. Like, they still sell the same online. The only ones that are cheap are ones that are missing the power brick or something, or they're broken. Um, do you have the special paddle shifters that you can buy for it? Session yeah. Complete. Um, there's also, I forgot what the, uh, thing is called. There's a thing called gimmicks or something. And it's an adapter you can buy. Uh, I've heard people talk about it on the GT Planet forums. Pfizer. So, it's, um, oh, what is it? Yeah, there's these special shifters you can buy, uh, paddle shifters, uh, because people didn't really like them, so it's like an attachment that goes over it, uh, and it makes them, like, legit paddle shifters. I've seen those, I wanted to get the Driving Force GT with it. I mean, that... Yeah. I think it will just, like, use the, you know, um, yeah, it's, um, because there's one that does keep the vibration and, like, the force feedback. Oh, yeah, because it's, like, red and you just clip it on and it's pretty sweet. Um, yeah, you'll have to get that. I've looked at a Thrustmaster T80 RS that I keep seeing at this game store I go to and it's called game zone and it has one it's only like 80 bucks and I'm just like that's a good deal but I'm not really sure yet I just can't really fork out 80 bucks cuz I'm not as into Gran Turismo anymore as I used to I used to like only play that yeah the the gimmicks or whatever But it's fantastic. New lap record. Final lap. Um. Okay. Because I know there's the, uh... Because I know there's, like, those weird FWA ones and whatever that are in the Hori one that's uh, officially licensed by Sony, and those are crap. I've heard um, like those ones break or they just kind of keep turning left no matter what. Yeah, the T-150 is like the lower one. That's why I haven't really bothered because maybe when I get like, uh, when I get like project cars and dirt rally, I might invest in it, but I just haven't really bothered. Sweet, a trophy. 
just because uh, all I have is GT Sport, and that's all that um, that's all that would be compatible, really. Um, they should do a Burnout VR. That's another game I'd like to see: is Burnout and. Uh, That's better, there we are. I had to adjust it. Because it started drifting a tiny bit. Sub Venom. Oh wait, hold on. Damn it, this game doesn't stop the music when you pause. It's probably my biggest pet peeve. But at least with VR I don't have to have the TV on. But I hate that when I'm playing a game and someone's calling me and the game is just blasting. And the music just keeps going. Yeah. Definitely. The official wheel, the Thrustmaster GT Sport wheel, I forgot what it's called. Flash. But that one's cool. It has like all those special knobs and it's like built specifically for that game. But it works with any game that has Thrustmaster support. But it's only PS4 and PC only, so I didn't bother. Well, also because it was 800 bucks. <laughs> and I heard that the pedals that come with it are crap, and everyone just buys the T300 pedals. Let the beat control your body. Yeah, that's. Yeah, that's the uh, the Thrustmaster one for Gran Turismo. It has like all these special knobs and it's like direct drive and whatever. Something fantastic like that. Yeah, that's what I heard Fancy say. He wants a wheel for uh, for uh, Euro Truck. Oh shit! Yeah, that's the one that I was talking about was that... But, you know... Silver medal awarded. There was this flight stick controller that Thrustmaster made, and it was, like, for some weird, like, small, like, free-to-play game that's, like, pay-to-play or, or, like, you know, freemium game. And... I hope that that's compatible with uh, Ace Combat uh, 7. Oh yeah. I hope that, because that would just be awesome having the flight stick. Because I have the analog joystick for PS1, and East Combat 2 and 3 are amazing with it. Like, that's the only way you can play it. Like, don't pick up a DualShock, just pick up the analog joystick controller, that big beast, and just play some Ace Combat with it. It's, a, it's like, the only way you should play it. Same thing with Descent, which Descent isn't even DualShock compatible, which sucks. So just pick up the analog joystick. It is, man. But it's coming. And that will be fantastic. Just blast uh, Danger Zone on repeat. And just shooting down other friggin' planes and stuff. With, and if it's compatible with that Thrustmaster, oops, with that Thrustmaster flight stick controller, that would just be like the ultimate friggin' thrill. Zone 25, clear. Oh, there we go. 
Yeah, it's like a separate thing, VR missions. Like, there's like uh, eight or something, I don't remember. Like, it takes like a few hours to do. Uh-oh. I mean, I already got gold, so I ain't complaining. Kablam! Oh. I am excited for Spyro. I did want to pre-order God of War, but it's too late for me now. I don't know why I didn't do that before. Um, I don't even know why I didn't pre-order it. I thought it was cool. Um, no, what was I gonna say? Yeah, September's gonna be a friggin' crazy month for games. Cause there's Spider Man, there's Spyro, there's the new Tomb Raider, there's Dragon Quest XI. I wonder if they'll make a sensual Puff Puff edition. <laughs> if they did, I'd pre-order it just because. I've never even played those games, but I would just get that and just put it on my shelf. Like, what the hell is that? What's sensual puff puff? Yeah. I never really pre-order, but I only do that because I can't just... Yes. Um, I pre-order just because I can't just spend 40 bucks at once. I just pay five bucks a week because I always go into town. Because I live, I I don't have a game store around me, but we go into town to shop every week. So I just stop by and just drop down another five every week until it's paid off. And then I just pay the tax when it's ready. So that's how I get new games. <laughs> record. I must know this. What, what's going on? They blindfold you, eh? That's, uh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's how I usually do it, because it just. <laughs> and he looks so happy. He's getting slimed. Oh crap, man. I just. Oh, he just freaking got revenge on me. Wow, I'm doing really shitty. All right, I better get moving. Oops. Get out of the way. Holy crap, that was close. Oops, you can't do the flip on this. Or no, I wasn't doing it right, never mind. <laughs> Race complete. I did really bad. <laughs> well there goes my domination. Oh yeah, I I can't just tap ass like I can in 2048. Uh, what time is it? Mm, okay, we're doing good with time. 
I'm just making sure I'm not making this like a short stream or something. I'm starting to feel a little bit of the wooziness. And then I have stuff to do anyway, but I was just making sure. Maybe I'll come back on to another stream after. I just want to make sure that my apartment is clean. Oh my goodness. There we go. Okay, what was it? Okay. Yeah, dude, there's some interesting stuff. Uh, PAX East happened, and I watched some of PSVR Frank's uh, VR streams. I mean, his uh, VR news stuff. And they had, like, a bunch of new games going on there. Like, Vacation Simulator looks awesome. Damn it. Yeah, nice chat with you, man. I'll uh, catch one of your streams tonight because I'm not working tomorrow morning. I might have, I don't know, I might actually have my brother over, so maybe I won't play Little Big Planet 3. But uh, maybe I can actually get him to play too. Who knows? He wants to play Crash Bash though, so, but, uh, in the morning I will definitely be able to stream it actually, never mind. Cause he doesn't get up till like in the afternoon, cause he works overnight shifts. Which I don't mind. I'll have him come over tomorrow or later. Oh yeah, Warcade, that looks fun. Tell me, I, I wanna know how that is. I saw Polish Paul play that and he liked it. Uh, Seven Degrees of Gaming liked it. Uh, they said that it's just like a fun arcade game. Like it's like playing those arcade light gun games, but in VR. And I'm getting so messed up here. And there we go, you son of a bitch. Whoa, that was out of nowhere. Wasn't the best, but that's okay. <sighs> Speed lap. Pfizer. No problem, dude. You are all sit to go. I don't know if I'll like stream this game a lot. I might just play it in my free time. Ah, no, it's okay, dude. You're good. I might do like online videos with this uh, sometime. Just not today. Once I get like a good footing in this game, like when I'm like a little bit more mastered, Gold medal awarded. I might do Gold some medal online medal GT Sport Session videos complete. too. I'm just a little nervous because that game, uh, GT Sport, has a ranking system, and since I haven't played online at all, I have no ranking, so I'm gonna be like stuck with the really shitty drivers. So I'm gonna have to like be wary of that. It will be fun to watch, but trying to get your rank up while oh people God. are slamming into you because they, they drive purposely shitty is hard. 
Uh, but once I get my rank up on that, I will, like, it will be better. Like, it just matches to your style, because I'm not, like, the greatest driver, but I am a pretty good one, so I wouldn't, like, be matched with, like, Class S drivers or whatever. It'd probably be more like Class B. Even though there are some Class S racers that cause trouble, but they usually lose a rank when they do that. But that will be fun. I'll uh, have the... Uh, I will have a commentary over it. Also post the replay of it. I can get pissed off if someone friggin' rammed me. Cause playing GT6 online was a pretty much a nightmare. Uh, cause all the good players. Oh yeah, Mario Kart, same here dude. Which uh, Mario Kart do you have? Mario Kart Wii is a blast. I love it. I like that one. I like Mario Kart 8. Um, I do like Mario Kart 8 just a little better, but I mean, like Mario Kart Wii, I would definitely pick up. Because that game is pretty fantastic. I like, um... I, I went to a tournament for that at Game Zone for uh, Mario Kart Wii, and I did pretty good. Way better than the Super Smash Tournament. The Super Smash Tournament, I got like stuck with like the most hardcore players in the beginning. My friend did a little bit better because he got stuck with like the kids and the noobs. And then like I'm stuck with like these guys that are like in their 30s that just know M Super Smash Melee inside out and I got killed. And I ran, I ran so hard, I basically just fleed. I was like a fucking, like, a frog trying to get away from a snapping turtle, as a snapping turtle is, like, has my leg. And it's just, like, not going for the kill. Or, like, a fucking baby deer trying to run away from a tiger at a corner, you know? Like, just running back and forth, it's, it's like, right on my ass. And then, like, I would slip up, and then they'd just fucking grab me and kill me. Or they beat the shit out of me. I'd get away, and then I would just keep running. It was hopeless. And it, the round went on for a long time. I was just like, I'm gonna at least time them out. I will lose, but I will time them out. The Mario Kart Wii I did way better on. I almost failed uh, early on, but that's just because they picked the shitty Donkey Kong track that I hate. And then they uh, they placed me on a track that everyone else hated, and I hated it too, but I did alright. Smoked everyone on that one, did another one that I actually liked, did good on that one. Then the next track was one that I liked, did that one. Then uh, I was stuck on Bowser's Piece of Shit Castle. And I lost. And I was out. It sucked, I already used my second chance. Um, but I did pretty good. Uh, I was like the second to like the pre uh, I would say I was like in the the pre quarterfinals. But it was fun. I love Mario Kart Wii. I still have it actually, never mind. <laughs> I didn't give it back to my friend, but they haven't really asked for it, but that's because they have a, a Switch now, and they probably have Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, which I I would like to buy, but I wouldn't pay 60 bucks for a game I already own. And it's like a game that's like, it's not even that much different, like it literally just has what was meant to be DLC for the Wii U version just added in, and that's it. I wouldn't bother anything that much. Like this game I bought for like a low price. 
because I already own it and I wouldn't rebuy it again for, uh, for 40 bucks. Even though that's not a bad price for a game. But I, like I don't like uh, Mario Kart 64. That probably would be an unpopular opinion of mine. But the physics on that are balls. Like I played it at a nightclub in Portland and that was it, it was cool playing with my friends but I hated the physics because drifting is like the worst oops is like the worst thing ever in that game <laughs> like literally it was like it doesn't even drift you just kind of it just turns and that's it it doesn't actually drift like Mario Kart Wii with the Wii wheel and like or Mario Kart 8. Like, it's just like, not doesn't work. I, I like uh, Crash Team Racing way better. What was that? Hold on. I liked, I didn't really like that one that much. Um, hold on, let me check that one. Yeah, I do want to play that one, but Crash Team Racing is still my all-time favorite. The physics are just wonderful, and the, uh, and yeah, <laughs> I never played Double Dash, but I won't be able to play it now unless if they were to port it on the Wii U or something, but that's not going to happen. But it's like 70 bucks now, it's like fuck that, I'm not paying that much. That's why I don't have any GameCube games, because collecting for that thing is so overpriced now, it's so stupid, it's not even funny. And I don't really have a nostalgic connection enough to really piss that amount of money away. Like, all I have for a nostalgic connection is Resident Evil 4, which you can buy for every other system. And that's the only game that isn't ridiculously priced on that system. Um, and to uh, Sonic Adventure 2. And that's it. Final lap. But I can buy that on the PS3. Or get a Dreamcast. Dreamcast version, everyone says it's the best one. Everyone says the GameCube version is the worst one, so yeah. There's that. So those are like my only two nostalgic connections. I have fond memories of the GameCube. Other than that, it's all PS2. I would do it. Um, I, I like it. Like, I think it's fun. Um session complete. Gold medal award. I uh like I make jokes about it a lot though. It's kind of funny, but you know. I like to it's it's a fun game to play. It's if you like uh Disney and if you like um Final Fantasy, then that's the game for you. Yeah, see, that's the thing. It's it's just really kind of corny. Because you, you gotta realize it's uh, Final Fantasy characters and oh Disney God. characters. So it's like a really silly concept in a lot of people. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. I was just like, yeah, I don't care anymore. And my friend's just like, oh my god, it's gonna come out now! <laughs> Like, I don't care either. I would play it. I like corny. Like, I wouldn't take it seriously. Like, I know people that take, uh... That game, like, really seriously. It's like... Uh, no. <laughs> I take it seriously is like... You know. Yeah. But, um... Yeah, it's not a bad game, so, um... But three, I was, I was like 12, and I'm fucking 24 now, or whatever. I remember seeing the early trailers, my friend was excited.
like, it better be damn good. Neo, or, yeah, was it Neo, or... No, it was something else that was in developmental hell for a long time. It wasn't Neo. I fucked up, but it was like a samurai game. Maybe it was Neo, who knows. But it was one that was in developmental hell for, like, ever. Uh, I mean, that turned out fine, you know. But games that usually stay in development that long have issues. Like, Gran Turismo 5 was in development for, like, s six years. Yeah, see. Some games just stay in development forever. But even the voice actors were getting pissed off that, uh... Kingdom Hearts was uh, in development forever. They're just like, come on, you want our fucking money? What is taking ya? But other than that, uh, yeah. I'll have to see how it is. Son of a bitch. Yeah. What time is it? Alright. Busy to making... Oh, yeah, yeah. And uh, making uh, Kingdom Hearts 2.8 HD uh, 90210 420 Blaze It uh, edition. <laughs> or whatever they make like they make like so many like in-betweens and uh remixes uh whatever that's what i said I'm, i told my friend I'm just like is the next one gonna be called uh kingdom hearts uh 2.9 hd prologue 420 blaze it 90210 uh remix <laughs> Cause that's what they did and it's all the same game they just add like a tiny bit more and it's like 2.8 the prologue uh, like and then there's just like weird ones there's weird mobile versions of the games that are lost they they just like basically reproduce the same game over and over again and they get mad at Bethesda for re-releasing the same game at least they don't try to hide the fact that it's Skyrim you know whereas with Square Enix they're just like a new Kingdom Hearts game it's like it's the same game just with a couple added things enough please just release the third one they, and they literally do that just so then they can keep people's interest and remind them that Kingdom Hearts does exist still. Although there's nothing really wrong with Kingdom Hearts, it's just... That's another one that I can come up with that's had more ports than Skyrim. Flash. I mean, there's Doom, there's Resident Evil 4, <laughs> there's that, there's uh, Kingdom Hearts. They try to mask it, but we all know. Um, there's gotta be more. But I think everyone just really wants... Uh, Elder Scrolls 6 Absolutely, now, yeah. which everyone thinks is going to be announced at, uh, at E3, probably. I would like to see maybe another VR game by Bethesda, because they did a real good job. Um, yeah. Supposedly, there's gonna be an Oblivion spin off. 
made by the people that made uh that made um what's it oblivion uh the people that made fallout new vegas right, yeah. Hopefully they don't make it way too complicated like Fallout New Vegas and then blame uh, the consoles for blame the PS3 and Xbox 360 for your incompetence. Cause that's what they did. They're just like, oh if it wasn't for those if we didn't have to make it for those, it would have been a better game. It's like shut up. Fallout 3 is on those consoles, it has less stuff, and it's a way better game. You had all the tools pre-made for you, whereas Bethesda had to make everything from scratch for Fallout. And you just got handed the stuff, so you should shut the fuck up, because of course it would be better, but, I mean, it wouldn't make that much of a difference. So, shut your face, because you can't fucking... You tried way too much shit and made it way too fucking complicated. Silver medal awarded. Gold medal. Oblivion's an older game and it's better than your game. And they had to friggin' and Bethesda didn't even know how to make games for the fucking Xbox 360 and PS3 yet. Oh my god, yeah, I'm probably gonna have to stop very shortly because I'm starting to feel the fucking motion sickness and I really don't want to ruin myself. So after this thing, I'm just gonna go. I might stream a little bit later if I have time, I gotta clean. But it, there's way too much fucking bobbing up and down. I feel like shit. Oh, okay. Yeah, I gotta stop. If I do another stream, it'll probably be just Fallout 4, just so that I'm not fucking dead from uh, motion sickness or anything. I just want to kind of stray away from the VR for a little bit. That's why I'm just... Yeah, dude. Uh, I will see you tomorrow. I will definitely stream Little Big Planet with you. Because I'd like to have a break from the VR, to be honest. That's one reason. And plus, it's just so much fucking fun playing that game with someone. Uh, and I had a blast. I liked the car part. I just want to just do Little Big Planet 3 tomorrow. Kind of keep away from the VR. I need a break from it. It's starting to really mess with my head a little bit. So I'll see you later.